to see. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about these guns. These are not Hollywood props. They aren't toy guns. Barrels aren't blocked off. Nothing fancy like that. This is the real deal. Well, that being said, we don't use real bullets because they hurt. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, folks. Blanks are very powerful, very dangerous. There's a lot of Hollywood stuff, and some actors seriously injured because they didn't respect the power of the blanks. Let me give you an idea of how powerful they are. Direct your attention here to Charlie Stone, who's playing poker. Now, Charlie's got six blanks in that pistol he has, and so they can't even find Let's see if we can't hit and shoot that can. Give it a little demonstration. You like it. Charlie, you're really going to shoot that can. Yeah. Charlie, have you got to check the wind? What was your right? <laughs> Charlie, it's indoors. There ain't no wind. I was just checking. Careful, Charlie. Don't miss. Shut up, Pat. Charlie, I've seen you shoot before. I think you need to get a little closer. <laughs> Folks, he never misses. <laughs> That's to be self-explanatory about the power of these blacks. That being said, we got a few rules we need to follow with you, Rob. We've already asked them to turn those cell phones off. You don't need those things on here. Next, we're asking you to stay in the seating area during the show. Ain't nothing up here, Corey, but flying away. The last we have a safety issue because of the close quarter shooting. The actors need to concentrate, so we ask for quiet during the show. We appreciate that. Now, for our first reenactment, we're going to take you over here to the corner of 5th and Allen Street. And some say the most dangerous intersection in the West, simply because of all the shootings and gunfights that happen right there. It involves two good friends of Bat and Masterson playing a game of poker at the Oriental Saloon. You've met Charlie Storms. Now meet his opponent, Luke Short. Hey, Luke. How did that? Well, that's no way. I'm back taking inventory on the whiskey. I'll tell you something, Bat. That man can disappear faster than anybody I've ever seen. Yeah, he just might be back there all afternoon. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is while we're working. Mm -hmm. Slide back and grab him on the seat. All right. You don't like this bag that's never brought in. Yeah, how's that? They're imported. Imported from where? You did be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you heard that new bird cleaner on the birthday again? Yeah, I mean, it's the boy I seen him the other night. Well, that girl sings like an angel, don't you? She's a looker, too. <laughs> These are young eyes are. Can you believe that? Sure. You're not socializing. Go on here and pull up a chair. Get a chance to wait back some of my money. Well, your horse is still here. You'll get your chance. Excuse me, Brad. Charlie, I ain't never seen a man in such an all fire hurry to lose his money. We got a new car for now. You reckon that's going to help the chair? It's under yet new dog to sit down and play poker. Is that while we're here? Hey, look, don't mind if I sit in? Anytime, Dad. Watch about some money, will you? Not my credit. I'm gonna start you off $100. All right. $100. I need more than that to play this fella right here. What's <laughs> wrong with him? Yeah, that's like this, Dad. Charlie's running out of all money, he's losing his feet. His belly ain't got a long way long. Shut up and deal the cards. You watch your mouth over there, Charlie. I ain't gonna tell you yet. You know, Charlie, some new blood could change your luck some. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely indeed. How many cards, Charlie? Three, as usual. Right, three it is. Got me. Just two. Give or take two. Charlie, I'll be the best here. I know I play poker. Get your money out for poker today. All right, I'll call. What do you got? Stinking pair of sevens. Feeding my sisters. The boys are going to be too fair. <laughs> See that? That's what I've been dealing with all morning. The fellow there's been jerking them cards off the bottom of the deck. Alright. Uh, John, you got something stuck in your car. We can sell it. What you doing? Sure you want to play this hand out, John? Alright, boys. This is just a friendly poker game. Ain't no need for any gun playing here. Mike, play some poker. You know, Charlie. Maybe you like the chain, huh? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. You know, you're still just as fast that pistol day as you was when you was in Dodge. But you're still the slowest dealer I've ever seen. 
not slow, methodical. Big difference. Mm. Yeah. Maybe grin about over there still. It looks like my luck's about to change after all. Yeah, is that bad? Let me guess. Just one. Just one, huh? From the top. Different side. That. Just two. It takes two. All right, so let's see what your surprise over there. What do you say, boys? All in. All right, come in. Charlie, I believe I'm going to stay here. Show them. Here we are, boys. Three lovely aces. Freedom and we. Hey, Charlie, I told you to miss that bring you some luck. Now maybe you can pay back what you owe the house. You sure think that? Now hold on just a sec there, Charlie. It's not a good three aces, it's a mighty strong hand. Unfortunately, they don't beat four aces. Excuse me, Charlie, let me get this out of your way here. Sorry! What is that? Six hands in a row? Ain't nobody that lucky. Nah, Charlie. That's seven hands in a row. You got something to say. Hey, ain't nobody that look. Go down here, Charlie. Charlie, I'll tell you what. I know it takes a little bit. Come on up and buy down here. I'm buying. Now that sounds like a good idea. I, uh, I believe I can afford it now. <laughs> you just gotta keep stoking that fire, don't you? Oh, come on. Man. You know it's a fair game. Is that right, Charlie? That's on the full round on me. All round on you. Yeah, with my money. Keep it up, Charlie. That sure looks like them cards that won me again today, don't it? Yeah, Luke. You always seem to win. I do, don't I? <laughs> yes, sir, Charlie. And you always seem to win, all right. When you're doing the deal, that's it. All right, boys. That you stay out of this. It's going on long enough. Storms, I've had a belly full of your gas. I told you once you got something on your mind, you best spit it out. Your slick hands, your loose lips, they're gonna get you dead. Well, I guess that's why they call you the Undertaker's friend. He wasn't much of a poker player, was he, Pat? Nope. I'll tell you, though, I sure am gonna miss his money. <laughs> Well, let's get us another break, play some more poker. Now, folks, Luke Short, being the consummate gambler that he was, he went right back in the RM and started up another game of poker. Charlie Storms, on the other hand, well, he wasn't quite so lucky. However, he did find himself a brand new piece of property, located right here at Blue <laughs> Facebook and web.